After months of protests and public arguments, Mayor Jim Kenney's administration on Friday announced that it would move the bronze statue of former Mayor Frank L. Rizzo that has stood outside the Municipal Services Building for nearly two decades. In a brief statement, Michael Dibrardinus, city managing director, didn't say where or when the statue would be relocated, but cast the emotionally and politically freighted decision as part of a planned remake of the surrounding Thomas Paine Plaza. It was an anticlimactic moment considering the passions the Rizzo statue aroused during a summer of protests, forcing sometimes uncomfortable questions about which leaders of the past should be honored and which should not. Statues of heroes of the Confederacy were removed in city after city. To his Philadelphia detractors, Rizzo oppressed black citizens as police commissioner in the 1960s and was elected mayor in the 1970s in part by appealing to the racial fears of white Philadelphians. To those who admired him, the activists demanding the statue's removal were maligning a good man who protected all people from crime. This decision comes at a time when we have begun the preliminary stages of planning to re-envision Payne Plaza as a new type of inviting and engaging public space, Mr. Dibrardness's statement said. Frank Rizzo Jr., a former city council member, complained Friday that the mayor and his administration did not tell him or his 101-year-old mother of the decision before announcing it. Mr. Rizzo, chairman of a nonprofit that raises money for cleaning and maintenance of the statue, said they both learned the news from reporters. Mr. Rizzo also suggested that the tone of the announcement makes clear the outcome of the process, even though the city charter requires approval from the city's art commission for any change to the statue. People who support the monument probably won't even waste their time going to an expected art commission hearing based on the stack deck, he said. This is not a very professional process. Agina Amir, a spokeswoman for Mr. Kenny, blamed the failure to inform Mr. Rizzo on an internal miscommunication. Asked whether he planned to resist the statue being moved, Mr. Rizzo brought up the 2019 election, when Mr. Kenny will seek a second term. I've been around politics all my life, Mr. Rizzo said. I don't think there's a reason to raise an objection, other than to note the supporters of Frank Rizzo, remember this on election day. Once news of the city's decision circulated, some reacted with intense emotion. The Rev. Mark Kelly Tyler, an activist pastor in Philadelphia, compared the bronze Rizzo to a Confederate flag. This statue is a representation to black people of terror, he said. The 2,000-pound, 10-foot-tall statue of Rizzo, who rose through the police department and served as mayor from 1972 to 1980 was erected on January 1, 1999. Rizzo, who changed from Democrat to Republican, was campaigning to return as mayor when he died in 1991. The sculptor said he believes the statue it shouldn't be moved. City Councilwoman Helen Jim sparked a conversation about the statue with a tweet in August, calling for its removal after white supremacists and neo-Nazis clashed with counter-protesters in Charlottesville, Virginia over the planned removal of a statute of Confederate Gen. Robert E. Lee. Jim praised Friday's announcement, saying Rizzo tells us a lot about who Philadelphia was, and now our public spaces tell a different story about who we aspire to be and what our future holds for us.